Today, I'm going to teach you how to turn this into this. Stick around. Okay, the first step in cleaning your paint tools is you got it, it's called stripping the roller. And all you're doing is getting the excess paint out of the roller. Now, this is a painter's five in one tool, but if you notice, when you buy paint and they give you the paint stick, it has that little scallop on the end of it. That's actually what that's for. But this actually works a lot better. So you just scrape down, and you'd be surprised how much paint is trapped in your roller. Once you have that stripped, you just set, set your paint aside for now. And now you got to figure out how to get the paint, the roller off the frame. The easiest way I find is just bang it. Comes right off. The cleaning the frame is pretty straightforward. I like to keep a little sponge by my utility sink to help me. The key on the roller is you want to get the paint out of the working parts. It's not going to be that difficult really. And for me, that's done. Next to do the roller, I just try to get as much of the paint out as I can under running water. Again, I'm going to go back to my five. Then I'm going to continue to strip that under water. Now that it's pretty stripped, I'm going to get it wet again. And I'm going to soak it up. What kind of soap doesn't really matter. It's nice, I find, if you use a soap, like a hand soap that's maybe got a little, you know, conditioner in it. Because if it conditions your hands, it's going to condition your tools and make them better for the next time you need them. Always go back to my 5-in-1 tool to scrape and wring out the roller. And don't forget to do the inside of the tube. I'm actually old enough to remember when they used to put paint rollers on cardboard tubes and you couldn't really clean them that much because the cardboard would just disintegrate. And then I just shake out the shake out the roller and get as much water off as I can. That's a nice clean roller ready to use again. And remember, save the package that it came in because you want to cover this up and wrap it up. Same goes for this little mini roller. Just soap it up real good. Get as much of the paint out as you can. All ready for another use. So for a paintbrush, it's a little different. So get the water running. But in this case, I kind of brush it out with a wire brush to get all the paint out from away from the furrow. Then I soap it up real good. Work it in and then scrub it in the brush. If you're working with that wire brush, you'll clean off any of the dry bits of the bristles, get that ferrule nice and clean. And to work it in the water. And if you don't have a big sink like this, you could do this in a bucket. Just fill the bucket with a little bit of soapy water and scrub that brush from the bottom of the bucket. Get another little soaping. And I've never had a paint spinner, so I just do it the old fashioned way. Good clean brush, finally. 
I actually take a little bit of soap and just work it into the bristles. That kind of conditions the brush, keeps it from drying out. Fluff it out again. And then I'm going to wrap that in the package. Okay, so you saw just how easy it was to clean up your paint tools. It's just like any other tool. you got to take care of your tools, and your tools will last you a really long time. I've had this stuff, I mean, you can see just by looking at it, this, these tools have gotten a lot of use. They take care of them, and they've done me good for 10 years plus. I hope you found this helpful. You know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't like the paint because it's such a hassle to clean up, and it's a mess, and this and that, but... Really, you saw how easy it was. It's cleaning up paint is paint tools is no more difficult than cleaning up the dishes from dinner. And I haven't heard anybody say, "Oh my gosh, I don't like to eat because cleaning up the dishes is such a pain and a mess." You know, it's it's just the price of doing business sometimes. So, you know, clean up your tools right. And another little tip: the sooner you clean up after you're done painting, the easier it's going to be to clean up. You're not going to have a bunch of dried stuff on it. That, have to chip off and scrape off and stuff so that's it this real easy project guys so if you have some tips about cleaning up paint tools i'd like to hear about it we could all use easier ways if you do it differently than i do you know let me know maybe your way's better and i've been doing it wrong all these years so that's it i hope you got something out of this so now that you know how to clean up the paint tools the only other reason you wouldn't be doing your own painting projects because you're not sure how to paint Check out this video on Home and Garden from Your Immortals where I give you some basic tips on how to get a great paint job in your house. So that's it for now. My name is Tom. Remember, take care of yourself and your home. I'll see you later.